On a tear lately, Jonathan Motley and Jamil Warney, that big front court, and Warney, big news for him today. He is. Again, you'd love to keep the band together, but you won't. You know, Donald Sloan is another great example, the uh, high scoring guard, as we've mentioned. Brandon Ashley is it. The Mavericks. I, I do think that he spent some time learning at the feet of the master. Block shot. So that's my story on the Mad Ants, unless I made the whole thing up. David Lynn hit a three-pointer last time down for the Legends. Now it's Brandon Ashley's turn. Big three for Ashley. A half second earlier. Back to an 11-point lead for the Legends. Three-pointer on the way won't fall for Fort Wayne. The Mad Ants are to within eight. Mad Ants have tried to get the ball to Jones. They haven't been successful. Last few possessions, there's Ashley. Brandon Ashley. He's listed at 6'8", 220. Now, he's a big, thick body and a guard, but uh, he, he moves like somebody far smaller than that. Whistle and a foul and a timeout on the floor. 57-40. Jones in transition. Ashley off the glass, no, but a foul. 28 seconds and a foul. He and Anaboku both have three for the Mad Ants. Texas can make that work in its favor. This is that Bob Ortigal traditional finished quarter strong moment. Actually does. And therefore, and again, the Golden State Warriors are the model. And I know for a fact what I've come to call it is the interchangeable man. As Brandon Ashley goes baseline, gets the bucket and the harm by Brandon Ashley there to the rim and was able to draw the foul, the contact, he will head to the free throw line. So what What if What if in an era of interchangeable men, where we've all seen Golden State do it, where their, their center can guard a guard and their guard can guard a center and uh, he's just a player. <laughs> and, and obviously we're not talking about him going and starting for the Dallas Mavericks next Tuesday uh, at New York. Uh, starting for the Dallas Mavericks against and almost had double digit scoring and was very energetic and maybe it will all get turned around but I'm watching that happen there and then I'm watching Jonathan Motley play here who I think gets in his legends no, end up with time. the basketball Monday with it beat to Jones Jalen driving his shot won't fall and you top with the rebound but Ashley with the steal Jones to warning free throw line no, and the legend shooting has gone cold here in the third quarter, but Ashley with the ball back, puts it up with a foul. It just goes after you and after you and after you. Watch, here's here's Ashley on the finish and he gets fouled, but you see Jones, Jones is ready for a little more wrestling if necessary <laughs> underneath the basket. What a sequence though for the legends as they just kept going after it and going after it, finally coming away with the bucket. Uh, and a lot of it keyed uh, on that entire possession from the pass. That's a video game. Right. That's not what the football team calls it. <laughs> Des Bryant doesn't play the position of WR1. Something very athletic under the rim. So we have to we have to call him one, two, three, four, five. Do we have to call it a power forward? Do we have to call it a stretch four? Or what if I just what if lay up? And the legends will bring it the other way. Well, he got bow legged. They're bow legged all over him. <laughs> Brandon Ashley in this. And Ashley was. The game has been since it was 14 11. Ashley, Hornsby inside the three point line, yes. <laughs> Ashley, blocked. Up two points with under eight minutes left. Horns with the steal. Driving to Ashley, laying good. Brandon Ashley with 22. The Legends lead by four, 96-92. Well, and coming to Frisco as an opposing team, this should be an intimidating challenge. Uh, this is a bigger crowd. Connecting from the wing, Ashley on the night, 22 points, and from three-point range, four of seven tonight. And that's been a big difference for the Legends. 
the Mad Ants 6 of 20 from three-point range tonight.